hallway at one metro area high school and the student who took the picture has now been suspended. Her post quickly going viral as many schools are now dealing with an increase in COVID-19 cases during this first week of classes. Mara Sirianni live outside North Paulding High School and Mara, the student says she didn't expect she would be suspended over this. She certainly did not. That student is 15 year old Hannah Waters, and she, she says she posted the images of the overcrowded hallways here inside of North Paulding High School because she felt uneasy. She says her peers, most of them not social distancing or wearing masks, and she didn't expect this photo to go viral. She also didn't think she would get suspended. Now, the 10th grade honor student was pulled from class and told that she violated three rules from the Paulding County School District's Code of Conduct for using her cell phone without permission during school hours. Hours, but the code also says students are allowed to use their phones when they're in the hallway. Hannah recorded other underage students and posted the video and photo to Twitter and says at the time she didn't realize she was breaking any rules. I was mostly anxious and nervous and like scared because th this virus is very serious, obviously. So I took that picture out of like concern for the county and all the kids there and all the teachers and staff. Now, Hannah has since been learning virtually from home again since all of this happened. She says the goal was not to get the school shut down or get anyone in trouble, nothing like that. She just says uh, she wishes the district would enforce some mask policies. Now, we did reach out to the Paulding County School District, and as of right now, we have not heard back yet. And that is a five day out of school suspension, uh, which does not look good mm -hmm. when kids are trying to apply for college, Francesca. So I know the story is getting a lot of national attention. What are you seeing? Goodness gracious. Yeah, I shared this on my Facebook page, hundreds of shares. And of course, I mean, we've seen Hannah Waters now talk to CNN and we've seen her also talk to BuzzFeed News. Um, many parents are concerned at this point. It's not about the suspension for them. They don't like the fact she was suspended, but they're saying, well, now I want to require my child who's going to school to send me photos. So here's what some of you are saying about this online. As we've been sharing this story, I'd be proud. This is what Christine says. I'd be a proud parent if my child was suspended for speaking out about this. And Alan says, if the school district cannot provide a better environment than this seems to be. They had no right opening up the schools. And Carrie says, like, oh, I love this one right here. Uh, like Representative John Lewis said, never ever be afraid to make some noise and get in good trouble, necessary trouble. And it's funny because that comment and uh, several people on my Facebook page made that exact comment. This is the type of good trouble to get into. But as you mentioned, Sheba, it's nothing you want to see on a college um, uh, file going into college, right? I also want to mention this as well. She also took tab of how many students in her classroom were wearing masks and she put first block nine out of 28. Second block, five out of 30 students. Third block, 10 out of 30 students wore masks. And for the fourth block, four out of 14 students wore masks. So you can see that the mask, people wearing masks, the students, they're opting to not wear masks um, when it comes to looking at those numbers. So we want you to continue to chime in on this conversation. Again, many parents lauding her saying, great job taking those photos yeah. and they urge other students to do the same. Seeing a future journalist there.